died, it was his last wish that Jane be taken care of. Sarah Reed, Jane's aunt, obeyed her husband's wish. However, she and her children despised Jane and made her life in Gamepeg, the home where they lived, miserable. Both Mrs. Reed and her children, Jane's cousins, Georgiana, John, and Eliza, are emotionally and physically abusive to Jane. One time, John hit Mr. Brocklehurst leaves, Jane retaliates and puts Mrs. Reed in her place for falsely accusing her of being a liar. Soon after the confrontation, Jane leaves for Logan School. When she arrives at Logan, a boarding school for orphan girls, she finds the conditions to be terrible, as most students had very little to eat and during the winter were very cold. Jane and the other students look forward to the tea time to have small morsels of food. During her time at Lowood, Jane meets Helen Burns, another student, and they soon become friends. Helen still stands by Jane's side even after she is put up on a pedestal by Mr. Brocklehurst and deemed a liar to the entire school. However, during the winter time, Helen gets very sick and dies in Jane's arms at night by consumption. After finishing her studies at Lowood, Jane becomes a teacher and stays at the school for many years. When she is 18, however, she grows tired of her life at Lowood and puts an advertisement in the paper to be a government. A return comes back and she is accepted to govern a little girl at a place called Thornfield Hall. When she first arrives at Thornfield, Jane does not know what to expect. However, she is optimistic about her future because it is a change in the direction of Fairfax, a kind elderly lady who runs for him, shows Jane around and makes her feel comfortable. Jane meets her new pupil, Adele, a fun, happy girl. Jane and Adele become close friends because of the long study hours they spend together. Mr. Rochester returns home and brings along his fiance, Miss Ingram. As he becomes closer and closer to Jane, he realizes that he no longer wants to marry Miss Ingram. Jane receives word that Mrs. Reed is very sick after her son John passed away and Jane goes back to Gateshead to visit her. Before she dies, Mrs. Reed tells her that Jane has an uncle who is still alive. Soon afterward, she passes away. When Jane returns, Mr. Rochester proposes to Jane in his orchard. Jane says yes and they make plans to be married. The night before the wedding, when Jane is strange being named Bertha enters the room and tears her reclining veil to shreds. When Jane and Mr. Rochester are about to be married, two people interrupt the wedding and claim that the marriage cannot go on because Mr. Rochester still has a living wife. Mr. Rochester admits the truth that he does have a wife and that he locked her in the attic away from everybody else under the protection of a woman named Grace Poole. His wife, who turned out to be Bertha Mason, escaped the night before the wedding and was the culprit who shredded Jane's veil. The day after